this you fucking stupid spot. Get it, shit. Just because I tried to even want it out. Ouch, 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 my finger. I'm seeing scars. It comes out, it leaks. It leaks out my dupa. It leaks. There is liquid coming out my butt. It leaks. Hello everyone, Nikocado Avocado is a mukbanger who over the last couple of years has been digging himself an early grave. Now of course I would argue that no mukbanger is exactly doing themselves a favor by trying to make a living off eating copious amounts of food because they all go through the same progression. They start off by eating relatively normal and then they decide to do the 10 bucket KFC can I eat 12 gallons of mashed potatoes challenge that goes viral and they realize well I'm never going to get those views again by eating a salad so for their next video they have to eat 12 gallons of mashed potatoes again, but by then the novelty of that has already worn off, so they have to double it, triple it, to the point where they're eating storage containers full of mashed potatoes. Now most people would eventually come to the realization that they should not be eating this amount of mashed potatoes, that 80,000 calories a week is not ideal for the human body. Mr. Avocado, however, is not one of those people. Now I'm not here to call the guy a glutton or a man baby, I feel like the internet's probably done that enough for me, and that's the problem. He's built his brand, his livelihood, around being the guy who gets on camera and cries while eating 600 pounds of food. That's what gets his videos viral and that's what keeps him relevant. I'm sure if you've heard of the guy, the subject matter wasn't exactly about how dignified his videos are. And his loyal fans, the fans that apparently love and care about the guy so much won't watch normal videos anymore. Only this circus act where he eats himself to death. So just to kind of show that this is the cycle that this guy is stuck in, we're gonna go through a bit of this video titled, I'm getting fat and I don't know why. He just uploaded it a little over a month ago and it's already one of the most popular videos on his channel. Oh! Look, I have a hunchback like a turtle. I look like a freaking mole rat. Am I skinny yet? No, I'm not skinny yet. We have an emergency. Okay, yeah, I take back what I said about not calling him a man, baby. I'm... I'm having a nervous breakdown. I'm literally having a nervous. Look, I, I, I can't. I have no more neck. Oh, I'm so freaking upset. I just did a video with Kim Star, Leafy, blah 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 blah. You're getting fat. You don't know why. I don't know why. This is not okay. I don't fit in nothing anymore. Nothing fits. I stink. It smells like cheddar cheese in between my legs. So this is what I'm talking about. He knows what he's viewed as on the internet, so he knows that when people talk about him, whether it be positive or negative, that this is the sort of behavior that they're going to be talking about. He's gotten himself so far deep into this act that every video he makes has to reflect his character. Because he knows that if someone comes to check out his videos based off what they've heard, this is what they'll be expecting. And if they don't get what they expected, well, they're not going to stick around. I'm angry. Upset. I'm upset. Apparently this is entertainment for some people. This guy is nearly 30 years old acting like a child who just got his toy taken away. But this is what gets him views. This is what his fans apparently want to see. I'm sorry. And I have these compressions. And I can't get off the bed, but I fall down. I have on, I have on compression socks. Because do you want to know why? Because I am not circulatory and, 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 and stigoratory anymore. <sighs> because the blood don't want to go down here. And I go on the treadmill and I hurt. The treadmill is causing me so much. This treadmill is causing me so many problems. Ah, uh, yes, it is the treadmill that is the source of your troubles. There are sticks of cheese in my leg. There is butter in my legs. I can see it. I can feel it. And it's no longer acceptable for me. Period. Guys, we are truly in the presence of some top tier content. Bask in its glory before it's all too late. It is 100% unacceptable behavior. If I eat butter, it's supposed to go into my stomach. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, it's in my leg. There's little bumpy bumps in my heart. They go bumpity bumpity bump. And I'm like, I don't know why I have heavy bumpy bumps in my heart. Nick, that is your heart signaling SOS and Morse code. And I tried to even get this straight and I still can't. And every time I make the bed, I don't know how to fold a fitted sheet. <laughs> I'm stupid. This stupid Look at the look at my side of the bed. 
Just look at the side of my bed. There is grease on my bed. And this is my last pair of sheets. Cause I pooped on the others. Now this is another example of what I'm talking about. Anybody who is willing to publicly admit that they've shit their bed not once, not twice, but three times is just grasping for any attention that they can possibly get. Spicy noodle challenge that I keep doing, it's their fault. And it's their fault that I have spices coming at my hole. This is what I look like when I walk and I go like this. When I, it, I, I, it comes out, it leaks. It leaks out my dupa, it leaks. There is liquid coming out my butt, it leaks. And I have to walk. Ah uh, yes, just what I look for in my ideal YouTuber. Frequent lectures about the severity of his swamp ass. When I go to sleep, I have to wear this concoction, this mother device and has to pump some air into me. Okay, so just for a quick recap, he's having heart palpitations in his 20s, his lower body is not circulating enough blood, he can't control his bowels, and he has to receive supplemental oxygen to not die in his sleep. Okay, yeah, sounds good to me. Let's keep supporting his eating habits. My body, it reeks. It's coming out of my skin. It smells like horse stable. Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. It looks like swamp on my bed swamp on my bed disgusting disgusting i stink diabetic shock even though i don't have diabetes i have a uh have a small feeling that that might not be the case this is what people see when i walk down the streets hello can i please have some ham from the deli hello can i please have uh 50 for my bank account thank you bank teller the last time I made a little weight loss update, I was like, it was called like, I'm eating fat and I don't know why. That was a hundred pounds ago. Look at me. Look at me. I don't know what to do about this weight. I can't even cover it up. I need a moo moo. This is my body. <sighs> Michelle Obama says, pizza is a vegetable. 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 Michelle Obama says, Michelle Obama says, pizza is a vegetable. Michelle Obama says, pizza is a vegetable. Michelle Obama says, pizza is a vegetable. Ouch, my finger! <laughs> I'm seeing stars. My double chin is choking me. Now I have to get up. Ouch, my I stop. Stupid, you discriminate fat people. Now, I know I say this in like every video, but this might genuinely take the top spot for the worst video I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've seen Funky Town. This is your fault. Do you know I used to do Irish step dancing? Oh my god, it stinks in here! It stinks! And I'm still fat! This is false marketing. Just to prove to all you people that I am getting fat and I don't know why. I'm still so physically fit that I can still do Irish step dancing. Five, six, seven, eight. Ouch! Oh my god, that hurt. I'm seeing stars. Turn off the camera. Drop the camera, I'm <laughs> Stuff like this is why this guy will never get better unless his fans just put their foot down. He went back and watched himself behave like this for 15 minutes and then decided to post it. He has no dignity and no self-respect. The only thing that's gonna save this guy's life is his fans taking away their views. We're gonna do eight packs to celebrate my three pound weight loss on my Patreon. So click the link down below, don't be a little wussy and just think about it. Just do it. I have a whole community over there of people that are watching my weight loss journey. Now, if you love the guy and attack people like me for saying stuff like this, you are the problem. If you click on every one of his why I'm quitting YouTube videos or this mukbang was illegal videos, you are contributing to his eventual death. Now, obviously I'm not saying that it's your fault that he's gonna die because he won't stop inhaling Little Caesars, but I am saying that every time you click on one of those videos, you are signaling to him that that's what he's gotta keep putting out to keep his fan base. I mean, the fact that he has to add all this drama to make these videos shocking is not 
not good. The video should be shocking if he sat there in silence. Like the fact that people are seeing these thumbnails of him with six buckets of chicken, 12 dinner rolls, two whole pizzas, and three tubs of macaroni and think, oh shit, it must be lunchtime, is not a positive. Like for him to have to add all this drama for his viewers to find these videos clickworthy shows how close he is to getting pushed over the edge. Like it's only a matter of time until the drama wears off so he has to up the eating even more. And eventually his body is just gonna tap out. So if you happen to be one of his fans who watches all of his videos, or maybe just somebody who goes to watch to make fun of him, I implore you to stop. Because it's all fun and games, it's all just a meme until the guy actually winds up dead. But that's really all I have to say, I know that I can't make anybody do anything, and obviously it's ultimately up to Mr. Avocado here to make the change. But I feel like you could probably use a push. If you happen to enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing because it really does help my channel grow. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subs before the end of the year and we're getting pretty close. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. I'm squeezing and it's running out along my cheeks and it's dripping on the sides and coming around the cheeks. A wise man once told me that pizza is a vegetable. A wise man also told me to remind you to subscribe to August the Duck. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.